today. We're going to go over flash suppressors and muzzle brakes for AKs. Uh, AKs are really catching on these days. Uh, the thing of the AK-74 slant brake, uh, it's a thing of the past. We're going to get rid of that guy simply because it doesn't really work. It's made for fully automatic, keeps you down on plane. And for left-handed guys like Jason behind the camera, it doesn't really help because you're going, it, it doesn't work. So, here's what we have. We have an Armicon Russian flash suppressor. A USA made Bulgarian style four piece flash suppressor. We have a Ukrainian ME flash suppressor. A Strela flash suppressor. Another Bulgarian, a 74. A Midwest Industries brake. A different 74, which is a PSA, and a Strela flash suppressor, Strela brake, which is pretty different and works very well. So we'll go over these guys, break them down for you, and I'll let you know exactly what we think and which ones for what, what applications. Now we're going to go over the standard AK slant brake. Okay, here's the Sputnik muzzle brake compensator on a Generation 3 PSA K. It's a Midwest Industries two chamber muzzle brake. Now we're going to go over the Strike Industries brake. This is the PSA AK-74 brake. All right, now I'm ready. Are you ready? <laughs> now we're going to try the PSA tanker style brake. To give you an idea, without any kind of break on the end, we're going with it just naked. All right, we're going with the Strela four-piece Gen 2 flash suppressor. See what she does. So now we're going to go with the Russian made darkness, uh, made by AK Demia. See how she runs. All right, now we're gonna try out the Armicon Wolf One Four Piece. All 
Now we're gonna run the Ukrainian made ME Ghost. It's a two piece flash suppressor. I run it on my pistol. Little shorter barrel. Another fun day on the Triple R range. Today we tested several flash suppressors and muzzle brakes. We're gonna give you our personal preference. Nothing scientific about it, just our personal preference on what we believe was the best suppressor and best brake. We'll start with the AK slant brake, just the standard slant brake. It does a little bit, not a lot. You still have your recoil and still some climb. Next up is the Strike Industries J Compensator. Uh, for $40, you can get a better brake out there, but uh, they do look cool and they do a little bit of compensating, but uh, for 40 bucks, you can get a nicer brake. Next one would be the standard tanker style brake from PSA. It does come standard on some of their AK pistols. It does a decent job all, all around. I would probably rank it about number four. Uh, but just a standard break. Next up is the Midwest Industries two-piece compensator. And uh, this break right here, very nice break for $40. This one does a good job. Very low profile and uh, leaves you on plane for follow-up shots. This one does really well for 40 bucks. Can't beat it. Yeah, I, I would have that over the strike any day. So next up, we have a cool name, uh, Sputnik by Estrella. It does a phenomenal job on keeping your recoil down, keeping you on plane. Uh, it is our number one pick out of all the brakes. Next up is the PSA AK-74 brake. It is also a very well traditional design brake after the traditional 74 of course but uh this one also does a good job at hiding flash to a certain degree overall it is a compensator and i would recommend that if you were wanting to run that that's there's nothing wrong with running that one that one does a good job next up we have the bulgarian style u.s made four-piece flash suppressor this is made by AK Builders, and so it'll help you, some of you guys with your 922 compliant uh, building, being a U.S. part. It's a very solid performer, and it, it ranks pretty even with some of the other flash suppressors we're going to go over with. Both of these are the same, just uh, one is a 14, one's a 24. Next up, we have two of our Russian flash hiders, which is the Volk one or the wolf one as we would call it and uh it's right there with the bulgarians and the strellas and hide and flash they do a pretty good job this is a three-piece design with the body cone and the uh, lock and ring but there you have that one that's the 14 and one and the 24. next up is one of my favorites and it is me a Ukrainian made flash suppressor. It works really well. I run this on an AK pistol. It uh, It's number two on our list, at least on my list, it's number two. It works really, really well. It hides flash pretty decent on short barrels. Next up, we have our four Strela brakes or flash hiders here. And uh, these are generation ones and these are generation twos. Uh, this is a 100 series, and these are all four-piece design, and they're all Ukrainian. And our winner of the flash suppressors would be the Darkness, Russian-made by AK Demia. It pretty much just makes a mist come out of vapor. Uh, it is a very, very solid piece. It is one piece. However, it's pretty long. Yeah, it's going to add five inches overall. 
So, but there you have it. That, uh, so, overall, in summary, flash suppressors. Oh, we got the AK Ademia Darkness and the Ukrainian Ghost. For the muzzle brakes, number one, the Strela Sputnik. Number two, Midwest Industry, Midwest Industry two chamber. From there, my personal would be to go with the AK-74. How about you? Oh yeah, the 74 is a really nice brake. Number three for you on the flash suppressor. I'm gonna have to say the Strelas. The Strelas are just cool. <laughs> I, I love running the Strelas. I would agree. As you see, I have a Strela on this little guy here. So, there you have it. One, two, and three. Number one on the flash suppressor. Darkness. Darkness. Russian break. Number one on the muzzle brakes. Sputnik Ukrainian. Sputnik Ukrainian. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below and we'll get back with you. Once again, be safe and have fun out there. All right. At night it works. During the daytime it works. It's a getting. <laughs>